December the 1st, 2011 at 21.50. That was the last date that I saved my personal statement for undergrad. Oh my god, that was almost six years ago. How's it going? So with me here, I have my laptop and on there I have got my personal statement that I wrote for my undergraduate degree. And you know what guys, it must be coming up to that point where people are starting to think about their personal statements and getting work experience and how to write it up. Because my god, I am getting a lot of questions from you guys. So firstly, if you are one of the people who asks the questions, good for you for being proactive. And do not worry because I have got a whole bunch of videos planned talking about how to write a personal statement, how to get work experience and you know all of that general stuff mainly for biomedical sciences because that's what I did but for any other subjects as well so I thought it would be fun to kind of kickstart this series by reading you out my personal statement that I wrote nearly six years ago oh my god I am aging anyway I will try not to have an existential crisis on camera but I thought this would be kind of fun because not only will it give me a chance to kind of read back at some of the cringy things that I may have written um, but also I think for some of you guys who also want to go and do biomed it might give you an idea of the kind of things that you could possibly talk about or the kind of work experience that you could possibly look into getting all right so let's just get into it oh god I'm scared I'm scared of the things I've written oh actually before I start I have done a similar video reading out my personal statement for my postgraduate masters. So if you want to see that too, then there'll be a link below. All right, anyway. <coughs> From the basic cellular processes to the complex functions of our pathways and systems, understanding the relationship between the structure of the human body and disease is what I find to be most intriguing. Good, Atisa. Glad you find that intriguing. My love of science and an immense curiosity of the body's functions are just two of the reasons for choosing biomedical sciences. I enjoy a challenge and I'm aware of the high demands of this course. Yes, my enthusiasm for this area has made me confident about choosing biomedical sciences, especially as it is of great importance in the world of research and healthcare development. I still stand by that. My aim is to pursue a career in healthcare and to enhance my knowledge of the systems in the UK, I decided to do an EPQ titled NHS versus private healthcare which provides a better quality of care. This helped to widen my knowledge of both systems and gave me the opportunity to speak to healthcare professionals, reinforcing my decision to study this course. I don't know if you guys still do EPQs or not. It was like the extended project qualification where basically you could go out and do some research and write um, like 5,000 words on any chosen topic. I had a lot of fun with mine actually because I, I got to interview some doctors and surgeons and stuff. So. Anyway, in order to develop a better understanding of biomedical sciences, I organised a visit to the pathology department at a hospital where I got a chance to explore the vast number of departments and learn what each consists of. The area which I found most fascinating was haematology. I learned how the appearance of the blood by microscopy can help to diagnose illness and how automated instruments are used to give them give the number of different cell types in a blood sample. Yeah, I remember that experience. It was very cool. Oh, and while I'm at it, I will make a video talking about how to get work experience for biomedical sciences. Because I know in a way it can be a bit tricky, but there are ways. I also arranged a work experience placement at a hospital where I shadowed a consultant anaesthetist. I got to witness some astounding procedures and, in brackets, with the expertise, expertise of the doctor, close brackets, I realized that none of it would be possible without all of the research and lab work which is involved in treating diseases. See, even here when I was doing hospital uh, placements, this was when I was on the borderline of biomedical sciences or medicine. And a lot of people ask me when I got into biomedical sciences, did you apply to medicine and fail? Is this your backup? But that wasn't the case. I genuinely applied to biomed because that's what I wanted to study. Anyway, I understand the importance of commitment and organizational skills in a course such as this. And I believe that my experiences of work have equipped me with just that. These include lots of voluntary work, such as 24 weeks in a nursery, 12 weeks mentoring a year six student, four weeks at a stroke clinic and six weeks at a charity shop. From these experiences, I learned the importance of commitment and responsibility, all of which were highly required. I also developed my communication skills and le learned the major importance of it when it comes to dealing with people. And since this video is going up in the summer, and if you guys are wanting to apply to Biomed, the summer is the best time to try and get as much work experience in terms of voluntary work as you possibly can. So after this video, you should be making some phone calls. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm, I'm joking. Trust me, I, it seems like I've done a lot, but it wasn't actually that much. 
So at school, I organized a medical society for students who were interested in medicine, dentistry, or biomedical sciences, which again highlights the importance of communication skills. And guys, I was really annoyed about this because I did genuinely set up this medical society. But um, a guy who was on the course who wanted to go and do medicine, he took credit for it. And uh, he wrote in his personal statement that he made it up. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I was just a bit like, dude. Come on. Anyway, not only were the sessions very useful as they allowed us to share our experiences and knowledge, but they also helped me to take initiative and learn how to be resourceful. All of which I believe is critical in biomedical sciences. My A-level choices also helped in developing skills such as resourcefulness. This is an essential skill when it comes to biology and chemistry because of the significant amount of material that needs to be learnt. Maths has taught me the importance of analytical thinking and working with numbers, which I believe are highly requ required skills when it comes to data interpretation. I am currently working towards my Duke of Edinburgh Silver Award, which is extremely rewarding and has helped me to improve my team building skills. I also attend weekly cooking sessions which are again challenging yet enjoyable. My other hobby is art and it is one that I have had since a very young age. It is something which I feel really passionately about and find extremely relaxing. To gain an insight into the life of a student, I attended the Bite Size Uni Summer School at Newcastle University which I enjoyed and found to be very informative. I believe that I'm a suitable student to study biomedical sciences and I'm very much looking forward to the every aspect that university has to offer. And there you go, there you have it. Almost six years later. You know, I really hope this does give you a couple of ideas. Um, just, just my experience, I know everybody else is different. There are people who got in with way more experience and there are people I know who got in with way less. So try not to compare your experiences and your individual, um, I guess, perspective to mine because I know sometimes that can be like, oh, well, I did better than she did or, oh my God, like I will never get in because my experiences don't match up. Just remember, you are an individual and when it comes to writing your personal statement, the most important thing is playing to your strengths. But anyway, I'm not gonna make this video too long because like I said, I will make a video talking more in depth about um, maybe breaking down steps and what kind of things to do and don't include. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it entertaining. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. And overall guys, if you would like me to make any other specific videos when it comes to personal statements and applying to university and you know, what topics to choose, what subjects to study, etc, etc, then do leave me a comment. I have already made a bunch of those videos that are floating on my channel if you want to go have a look. But if not, then let me know and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, my lovelies, I hope you're having an amazing day and happy writing and best of luck. Take care and I'll see you next time.